sleep on my bed. She's oh. your baby. I know. I'm gonna when she since she's too small, I'm gonna pick her up and then put her down. We got her for you for your birthday, honey. You and Tay for your sister. birthday. It's your birthday. Tarek is joining us now. Welcome, man. That was a cute little moment right there. Your yeah. little boy all fired up. Uh, what kind of puppy was that? So that is Bugsy. That is the new pug added to the El Musa household. It's a little pug. It's a pug the tiniest little black pug. Oh, and the kids cute. are obsessed, like completely obsessed. Okay, but are they doing the work necessary? Because they always think a puppy's cute, but are you and Heather doing all the work? I would say I'm doing most of them. Okay, I'm totally lying. <laughs> Heather does like all the work, but I'm there for like moral support, you know? See, same. I'm on the same page because we recently got a, a puppy, my wife and I. And that, the, the puppy, I don't know how it holds so much pee because yeah. it's everywhere. And I'm like, the puppy's this big. How does it have more happen? It must be yeah. all bladder. Yeah. Right? I'm just chasing it all day. I just can't wait till it's potty trained so right. we stop chasing it. Exactly. Who picked the name? <laughs> Uh, actually, Heather and I picked the name Bugsy. So she's really little with these like bug eyes, you know, because she's a pug. So Bugsy, shorts, oh, bugs. And, they, and yeah, they, the kids are, they, 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 they lost it. Like they don't know what to do with oh, themselves. That's funny. My son grabs the dog and he's shaking. He's so excited. Oh, that's the best. He looks just that's like you. He's oh, so he's my little cute. Oh. Uh, Tar, we were just talking um, um, off air a little bit that uh, you finally got the wedding date, right? Or the wedding venue it was like 14 months. <laughs> yeah. Longest engagement? It's the longest <laughs> engagement. It felt like 14 years, but it felt like two weeks all at the same time. Sure, sure. But yeah, we're all. Almost there. We're at the finish line. Congratulations. How are you feeling about it? How's Heather feeling about it? Like, are we psyched? Is it all in place? Any nerves? I am ready. You know, she survived the bridal shower. Uh, we survived the <laughs> engagement party. We both survived the bachelor bachelorette party, which was this weekend. I literally came here from vacation to do this interview. So you all had a... Look that, at that. That's, that's what we're talking it. about. We appreciate it. that. Um, you all had a joint bachelor bachelorette party, right? And you had an 80s theme yeah. going on to it. I like your style. Where, oh, look at that. So wait Cute. a minute. So where, where, yeah. did you, where did you guys do? So we ended up going to the JW Marriott in Palm Springs, which turned out to be the perfect venue because it is such a big resort. And we had yeah. 50 of our closest friends. So we hung out at the cabanas. We went to the pool parties. Uh, one night we went out to this fun live music restaurant called The Nest. And we just we just had the time of our lives, man. I, could, I couldn't have been happier. It, it turned out better than we thought. Awesome, awesome. And, and she looks so cute. Oh Look my how God. cute. <laughs> and I want to give you so much props. One thing I love watching the show is your friends with your ex's ex, aunt, who's now dating Renee Zellweger. That's really cool that you guys have stayed close. What's that relationship like? Well, it, it turns out that his kid and my kids are brother and sister, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> naturally, you know, honestly, the three kids, we want them to grow up together. We want them to know each other. You know, aunt's part of the extended family, just like all of us. So, you know, we we welcome him with open arms. But kudos to that. There you go. I love that. Thank you. There you go. Good for you, right? man. I think that's really good. So let's talk about the uh, return of Flipping 101. Congratulations on another season. What can we uh, expect? Well, similar to season one where, you know, a professional comes in, tells rookie flippers what to do, and, of course, they don't listen. And I'm, I'm an idiot, and I don't know what I'm talking about. It's, 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 it's just like season one. Like, I tell them what to do. They, they don't do what do I it. tell them. And then they're paying the consequences. And then I'm like, well, I told you so. Do they usually not do what you, what they, what you tell them Never. because they feel they can get a better deal somewhere? Or that they know really what's going on? They usually think they know better. They usually think they know better. But it's a fun season. I mean, we had a lot of big projects, a lot of uh, interesting couples I got to work with. And the, the projects, there was one I did in L.A. And they took this tiny little two-bedroom house. And by the time they were done with this thing, it looked like a French chateau, like nicer than any house. I've ever done on flipper flop so like some of these rookies yeah they do have talent okay it's so fun I feel like y'all up it every season you see more and more and more yeah. what's the number one mistake people make when well, flipping not listening to Tarek what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> not listening well if you don't have a Tarek is there something you do like you buy a house maybe before knowing everything think it'll be an easy flip Man, you know there honestly there's so many mistakes but I always say the biggest mistake is not getting educated, not learning the business before you get started in the business. And, and that's why I actually launched an online real estate school called Homeschooled last year where we're teaching people how to flip houses. So yeah. I'm trying to, trying to prevent people from making the same mistakes that I did. And if you're looking at it as a business, you don't want to fall in love with a home either, right? Nope. You nope. can't get attached. Nope. Well I literally had the same conversation with my mom about half an hour ago because she's out looking at her rental and she's spending five hours on paint colors. I said, Mom, you're not moving in. Yeah. And she's blowing me up. I was like, Mom, I got an right. interview. I got to go. She's like, is it blue or green? Blue or green? I'm like, Mom, I got to go. Yeah, just, uh, you got to be like De Niro and Heat. Walk away in 30 seconds or less. This is done. You got to walk away. Or do what I do. Buy yeah. high, sell low. It's, it's how <laughs> oh, I roll. I never am in the
in the great. right place. You got to listen to Tarek right there. <laughs> yeah. well, great, man. Congratulations on everything. To Thank you. Professionally and, to you, and personally. Heather. Yes, Heather. Nice.